Hello, my name is Isaac Cowden. I am a keyboard player, and today I will be helping some of you out with how to set up performance patches on your keyboard. So, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and I'll just tell you what kind of gear I'm using right now. We're starting with the Yamaha Mo8, um, and right now this is the standard Yamaha Mo8. Um, early 2000s um, it's really really good versatile solid keyboard um, a lot of churches you'll see either a variation of a motif or a mo8 or uh, some sort of in that kind of genre of of, of, uh, of keyboards and so basically i'm going to be helping you guys out with setting up your performance patches on your keyboard so with that being said let's go ahead and start off with um how you get to a performance space or how you or what does it mean performance patch um, essentially a performance patch is going to be a use of more than just one sound on your keyboard um, whenever you go and you turn your keyboard on um, let's go ahead and give, give you an example here i have my keyboard here so i'm going to turn it off turn it on yamaha screen is going to pop on um, and as we wait for it to load up, you know, usually it has a default sound that you go to. And so the default sound usually is a performance and master, which is uh, the mix of all four sounds that um, that uh, that somebody has put, the Yamaha has put on the motif. And then a mix of arpeggiations that go along with it. And so there's a whole lot of cool things you could do for songs. And before... Back in the day, now we have computers that can do a lot of this stuff for us, mobily, and laptops that can do all of this stuff. But before there was that, and before we had the uh, ability to do that, there was performance patches and whatnot set on keyboards and arpeggiations, and everything that you wanted to do was just analog, and you had to make everything yourself in there without the use of a laptop. And so now, uh, I'm going to show you just, if you don't have your laptop, usually you have a default mode that your, your um, keyboard can go through to uh usually it's for this moe it's called the core it's a default sound so usually whenever you go and you go to hit a note it's gonna usually play something along with it and just keep playing many of you probably in church have been turning your keyboard on forgot that you're not about to play just your regular piano sound and just like a random sound and beat is gonna come so let's go ahead and say how we can get away from there usually what i've met uh, a lot of people, they go to just the voice mode because voice, and as soon as they can go to voice mode, they have their full grand that's kind of set up for them. Uh, and so in order to kind of avoid um, just using one sound, which is this, you know, just your one sound, which, I mean, Ma Yamaha makes a great, great full grand sound, very full sound, very meaty sound. Um, and so... Um, in order just to kind of not just use a full grand sound, we're going to go and take the approach of maybe using something a little bit more complicated, complex, um, and allowing you to kind of use the full keyboard potential. Um, a lot of times in my band at church, I have a, a, a plethora of musicians that can play different sounds on their keyboards and what whatnot. Uh, but then sometimes you have the point where you don't have a whole lot of people that can play a keyboard you don't have an organ player and an aux player you know you just have a your regular keyboard player and so in order to make the full sound we're just going to go and try to uh, show you guys how to make the full fledged sound of what you're wanting to do in your performance mode so what i just did here is i'm gonna go from voice mode here uh, if we talk a little bit about where the keyboard is you have a i'm just gonna move my little midi setup right here just gonna move this up a little bit so i can show you guys the full potential of where we're gonna be at category search usually is gonna t tell me if i click on that it's gonna tell me where i'm gonna be so i have you know p from all the way from piano and keyboards to you know synth leads and synth pads and chromatic percussion going all in all sorts of sounds that the Yamaha bank offers to us. So what we're going to do is, usually you're going to be in voice mode. We want to go into performance mode. So what I do is go to performance mode, and it usually takes me to a default spot where that core was. So this says the core um, where we were before that has kind of like that sound. We're going to get off of that, and I want you to just scroll all the way to the left until you can't scroll anymore. What we're going to do is we're going to set up our sound right here that we're going to do. Now, it says probably something for here. It says prologue for yours. Might, says, may, might say something totally different, but we're going to just 
kind of look and see what we can do here. So first of all, we need to start off with a clean slate. The clean slate we're going to do is we're going to, if we go down here, we have voice perform, master, song pattern, mixing, doll remote, file, utility, edit, job, and store. Now, uh, really the ones that you're going to be using is edit, job, and store, really. Um, we're hitting job to go and give us the, the clear, clean slate. So if I hit job and it says initialize current performance, I want to hit enter and execute, yes, enter and execute complete. Okay, so right there it takes me back to that screen that I was just on when I hit the initial job. Um, but the only difference is if I hit exit and go back to my main screen that was wherever wherever I was going to put the sound at, it now says initialize performance, which means it's starting off with a blank slate. So we have play, voice, effect, porta, e.g. arpeggiation. Now, for here, we're not going to use a whole lot of arpeggiation. If you use a lot of arpeggiation for you, it might be a, you, you, and you want to use it on a keyboard, we'll, we could talk about that in another video. But we just kind of want to give the simple breakdown of how to go and use some performance sounds. So for me, I'm going to go here to this voice, which is on F2. So this bottom row is going to control these bottom um, options here. And then this top row is going to control these top options of arpeggiation. We go here to voice going to voice now right now it's just set up as a blank slate it sets you up with the the standard full grand piano full standard grand what we want to do is we want to add a little bit more sounds than just your full standard grand so how are we going to do that now if you look here you have a little what looks like a little more empty slots here that's right after a full grand so what i do is i'm just going to take my down arrow i'm going to highlight one of those empty slots and i'm just going to go up to this top row and i'm going to push this add button right here add right underneath it and it added me another full grand now what that is going to do right now is i'm in, I, what's the use for two full grands there's not a use to two full, full grands we're just adding the different sounds that we're going to potentially put in here let's add all the way here until we have four sounds. Now, what we want to do is we want to go and find out what sounds that we want to put in our session. Uh, we have full grand. That's obviously your bass one. Now, with all these full grands, it sounds really, really weird. But the cool thing is about these sounds is that zone one, zone two, zone three, and zone four are the controllers of these four sounds that we just put. And so from top to bottom, we're going to go zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate these. The way you activate your, your sound and the way you can control it, you have to make sure that your fader is activated. Just push it up all the way up once and, and all the way down once just to make sure your fader is activated. What that's going to do is it's going to bring everything down, and then you can start. Right now I don't have anything playing. You know, like that, you know? And so going from there. Start adding your other sounds. So these are how you control your other sounds. Let's talk about what sounds to use because there's different sounds for different types of songs, different things for different types of music. So uh, for me, we play a lot of gospel. We play a lot of contemporary at my church. Um, we uh, do a lot of just a good mix of things. And so uh, I'll just set up right now, let's just set up a standard gospel patch that we would just kind of use for, you know, more than anything. You know what I'm saying? So let's just find out what we kind of need in that, you know, and usually what I like to do is I like to listen to a couple different songs um, that have different patches in them and whatnot. And we just kind of look and see what sounds that I can kind of replicate or duplicate in the in the motif keyboard. Uh, so let's go here. We have full grand. In order to change the sound, I like to go just the category search. I go to category search. It's bringing me up where usually I would go in voice mode, but right now I'm just trying to find a different voice for this particular sound. I usually pick for me for a second um, for a second sound. I like a EP or electric piano, as they call a road sound. Um, so I usually go over to keyboard. I'm going to go down here, and for me, I like a depending on what type of song I like either a kind of brighter, old-school Roland uh, type sound, which kind of gives me that. So, I like to pick a sound like that to go along and underline kind of what my piano is already... Saying. 
And this kind of underlines what I want to do here. Now, when we go from the contempo, I, it's a sound called contempo. You can find whatever sound that you want. Really, it's just we're trying to help you figure out what sounds to use with your piano. Uh, another sound that I like to do that is a very good kind of softer gospel sound that can go with, you know, a song like more than anything uh, would be strings. The Motif and the Moe and Yamahas have a great standard sound that's called the background strings. Background strings are going to be located, obviously, in the string section. And we'll go here to, here we go, strings. And if I go down here, I'm going to find, there it is right there, H14 background. So if I click on that, then I have background strings. My fourth sound, I usually do a bell sound. Bell sound really does sound very nice on the high end side of this keyboard. And so um, with a lot of the standards, the standard versions of, you know, the motifs, you have a bell sound that's called J-pop. J-pop is going to be located in chromatic percussion. So chromatic, you just hit category search and make sure that you highlight. So every sound that I'm changing, I'm wanting to make sure that I'm highlighting every one of these sounds. Going here to the fourth sound, category search, chromatic percussion. Let's go on down here, J-pop. Click on that. And now I have all these sounds set, which is great. So, oh, let me activate them with the faders. Which is really cool. It's a good sound. It's better than... Instead of doing that, you know, we add these sounds. Really good sound. But the problem is, is that when you're having your bells, sounds really, really old school churchy. And if you have like some, you know, some stuff, like, it's not going to sound really that good down low. The cool thing is, is that you can limit these sounds to the left side and to the right side. So for what I do is I like to keep strings and bells on the high end side. My piano and pad and, and electric piano is gonna hold that left end side or the, that low end and it's gonna really fill up that low end and deep end. So what I like to do is I like to go and put my strings and my, and my bell sounds on the right side. Um, for a little bit more of a contemporary set, you can switch out your contempo piano for like a pad. Uh, if you go to a synth pad, uh, and you can have like an analog pad, I, and I'll show you that in just a second. But let's go to this limit right here. So if we limit sounds, the way you can limit sounds is um, you have these two buttons here, limit L and then limit H, limit low, limit high. When I click and hold the limit low and I'm highlighted on background strings, I'm going to tell the keyboard where my sound is going to begin from the left side to the right side, okay? So for me, for strings, I want my strings to kind of start around maybe A flat above uh, middle C or maybe B flat above middle C, right there. And then if I want my J pop, my J pop bells, I won't start until about E flat above the C above middle C. So let's do here and I'll limit that and make sure you have to hold it every time you want to change the sound. So I'm gonna hold it here and I'll put it to E flat there. now. Everything else I can pretty much deal with because the bell sounds that are in my electric piano are pretty good. They won't get too tinny and they won't be too overbearing and my strings will be able to kind of uh, compensate for that. So if we look here, we have our sounds. And then let's add the contempo. And then we have our strings. And then our bells. And then it gets in there. Now, if you if you want your sounds to be a little bit more closer to the your middle part of the piano or closer to the low end, feel free to, to just change your left and how you're setting your left side. And we will set the J-pop. I'll set the J-pop to A flat right above middle C, and I'll set my background strings to B flat, below middle C. Bingo. So, oh, actually, I just messed it up. See, this is the importance of it. So if you go and have your uh, J-pop, let's set the J-pop to 
E f or A flat, and then I have to highlight that background string in order to change the left side of that. So B flat right here. Now we have what we want to get set. So let's just go and look to what we do in that song more than anything. down okay so that's like the sound of all that so going from there we will uh, that's just how you set up a, a performance patch. Now, let me just, if we, just for kicks, if we just take our contempo and exchange it for an analog. Let's just exchange it here. Uh, analog. Let's see. We'll go to synth pad right here. And we'll go to this sound called analog. It'll be kind of down here. Let us see. Here we are. Analog here. And for pads, you usually want your pads to really fill up a low end and kind of really um, have like a lot of kind of low meteor sound to kind of create a foundation. So let's do right here. Um, analog starting here. We'll start it at C below or at middle C. We'll start it at C. All right. So now if I have my piano going. Let's do that again and add the strings. Bells. And you have your sound there. So really creates a good sound for you and then you know, if you're doing a more gospel sound and you really want to uh, really get some like saw brass, you're doing like some really intense gospel and, and you want, you know, um, any type of sound that can really help you uh, fill up and like shout and, and whatever else. We can go here and let's just go back to our contempo for our analog. So we'll just go back to category search. We'll go to keyboard. Let's go to our contempo here. right there then we're going to go to our let's just take background strings out and let's replace them for a saw brass of some kind so we'll do um let's see we'll go category search we'll go let's go to synth lead synth lead even though lead sounds usually are mono there are some of these lead sounds that are in fact poly which is very cool and so let's see what we're going to have here. Let's just see what kinds of options that we have for our synth leads. Yeah. Really gives you a good idea on what to do with your, with your uh, gospel sounds. If you're really in shout, you know. And there you have it. So that is my guide to you guys setting up a performance patch. If you have any questions or you have a, a certain keyboard that you're wanting to learn how to do a performance patch on, please tag UPCI Music, let them know, and we will get a video to you guys. With that being said, I'm Isaac Cowden. Happy to help you guys out today. Y'all have a good day.